everyone, I'm Amy Jones and welcome to Prime. And I'm Paige Stafford. We are so glad you could join us today. Later in the show, the family manager, Kathy Peel, will show parents how to get organized for the school year. But first, the 39th annual Cattle Barons Ball at South Fork Ranch takes place later this month and wow, what a show do they have planned. Joining us now is Sky Brewer. She's the co-chair with all the amazing details. And Sky, we also want to mention you're on this month's cover of Grand Lux Magazine. Welcome to the show today. Thank you for having me. Let's talk about the magazine cover. What did you think when they wanted to feature you and the ball in the magazine? Well, it's a huge honor. And of course, we're so excited about the ball this year. It's just, it's going to be amazing. And so to get that, that moment and to, to have the Cattle Barons be featured in, in Grand Lux was, was really special. What was the photo shoot like? Was it fun or did it take a while? You guys look beautiful mm -hmm. in the pictures. Well, it was a lot of fun. And we were excited to take it to South Fork because that's where the ball will be this year. And there's so much buzz around South Fork this year because right. of the new show, the Dallas show that everybody is loving. And so we were really happy to bring it back there and, and have people be able to get a little taste of the ball in the magazine. Right. And so the article features you and co-chair Kristen Johnston. And it starts off um, kind of giving some credit to the Dallas TV show for the demand and tickets this year. Do you think it's provided some extra attention to the event? Well, there's no doubt it has. We know that our website that night, the, the I guess what the number of hits or whatever they call it, completely spiked. I bet. People were very excited. We didn't even realize last year when they were uh, filming that little Cattle Barons ball scene and everything, we even had some of our members got to go and, and be extras in the scene, but we didn't realize how much it was going to be a part of the show. So I actually tuned in and watched it and was blown away by you know all the references yeah. and Sue Ellen Ewing chairing the ball so that night or the next day we had you know three or four people that morning call and say from California and various other states saying we want to come to the ball yeah I would think that it would bring in a lot of outside attention outside of Dallas just because everyone's watching the show well let's hope because yeah. we want as many people there as we can get <laughs> do you think you'll see any cast members I know that they're starting filming at the end of this you moment. know we're hoping for it because they're going to start filming I think the 24th, and so we do hope we're going to get some cast members there. It would be a lot of fun oh, yeah. to have them there, and you know, we know some cast members have had cancer touch their lives, and so we're really hoping that they'll be able to make it. And you have a huge celebrity who's going to be oh coming. <laughs> who's coming? We have Blake Shelton on our main <laughs> stage, absolutely out of control. When we uh, were picking our entertainment, you know, we, we do these things, gosh, a year in advance, and so we were looking at people last summer. And he had just finished his first season of The Boys. Mm -hmm. So we knew he was big, but we didn't have any idea when we said, okay, let's do this. Let's get Blake Shelton. What would happen over the past year? He's been everywhere. Every time we turn around, he's on TV, which has been fantastic for He us. really has. I don't think you could have picked a better no. face of country for right now. Why, why did you pick him? What, what was it about him? I mean, there's so many people you can choose from. Well, he's, he's very charming. He's very good. He's apparently... I haven't actually seen him in concert yet personally, but everyone tells me that he's very personable. He really engages the mm -hmm. audience, and so it's going to be a fantastic show. He does some other things that are a lot of fun, so he'll play his songs, but he also plays some covers of some songs that people really enjoy. He also just did that cover of that Footloose. I don't know if you remember the, the remake of yes, the Footloose yes. movie. That was Blake's song. He did the remake okay. of the song, and so he'll play that. He'll do a lot of things, I think, that, that are fun. Um, I personally like him because I'm from Oklahoma and he's an Oklahoma boy, so I think that's, that's going to be um, kind of a good thing because he also can bring his bus right over the border and just come down here and go back home. So that's it'll right. be pretty easy Do for him. Do you think he'll bring his wife, Miranda Lambert? Well, let's hope. I don't, I don't know. I know she has an engagement in Dallas the same night, but I don't know if she'll be able to make it over or not. How cool would that be if she just hopped on stage for the it. last number? Yeah, that would be, <laughs> right? That'll be fantastic. Let's hope, he, let's hope she's there. Yeah. What else do you have planned for the evening? Well, we, uh, the evening starts off with our VIP party, which is sponsored by SoftLayer, which is one of our um, wonderful supporters. And it'll be actually at the mansion. So um, it's, especially this year with all the filming that's taken place yeah. and all the scenes, it's, it's going to be a fun thing. And we'll have Mark Chestnut there, who has actually been on our main stage before. So people are really excited about Mark. And then you'll go into the main ball, and we have on our live auction stage, which is sponsored by Bank of America, we will have uh, Emerald City, which is kind of a oh, local great. favorite. Yeah. People are really mm -hmm. excited about having them. And then, of course, we'll have 
a fantastic live auction with amazing items, some of which were featured in Grand Lux, by the way, which was yes. really nice. Yes, let's talk about some of those. Well, I know um, one of my personal favorites is what Ralph Lauren is doing for us this year mm -hmm. because they are doing a design your own Ricky bag and then a, an experience in Paris and shopping in oh, Paris. There's a picture of it, it's amazing. Yes. Wow. Um, and then we also have the trip to Fiji that was donated by Grand Lux that I think is gonna be kind of the private island. We've got an, a, a trip to Blackberry Farms, which is in Tennessee. Okay, I was wondering really where that beautiful. is. It's really beautiful. And then we also have, that I know was featured in the magazine, Starwood Motors has donated a couple of um, go-karts, like, or, or golf carts, okay. that um, Medical City is gonna use in their, in their children's camp that they have. And it's a really nice thing. It's an opportunity to make a donation that Medical City really needs. So we're, we're really excited about those items. And then we have a total of 25. So it's going to be a, an amazing live auction. Uh, and then another one, I think, is a trip to Beaver Creek. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sounds that's like an amazing lots of trips. Which yes. People love obvious. trips. Yes. People are really, um, they're definitely into it. They think that trips are the best. They do the best on our auction. But we're also thinking that... Uh, the Serenade by Blake Shelton probably won't be so bad either. Oh, I thought that does pretty well. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, that will be a winner. I want to bid on that. Right? <laughs> that oh, sounds good. I think that one will do really well. And this is all to raise money for a good cause. Talk about that a little bit. Well, we uh, donate everything that we raise goes to the American Cancer Society and specifically goes to cancer research that is currently taking place in North Texas. And that's important to us, that's important to our donors because the money is staying here to support researchers who are here, who are mm -hmm. working so hard to come up with various cures for cancer and various types of cancer. The American Cancer Society is an incredible organization. I actually was on the board of the North Texas ACS last year. And what you really realize about them is they need to change their slogan to we know how to pick them because they literally are, are supporting researchers uh, at a point when they need their seed money so they can get started. And they've had 46 of these researchers go on to win the Nobel Prize. Wow. Which is saying a lot for an organization. They have a, a very rigorous um, standard that these researchers have to meet to even get the funding. And with that, they're not able to fund everybody they want to fund. So what we're doing the night of the ball is hugely important for the American Cancer Society and for, um, for finding a cure. And how much money have you raised so far? Well, um, we've, we've brought in over $3 million, and we hope to raise wow. um, enough the, the night of the ball that we can really um, you know, give all that money back to ACS. So. Do you have an end goal? or We have an end goal. We, we, we try to hit somewhere between 3 and $4 million, and the ball does that consistently now every That's year, fabulous. which is incredible. Like I said, I mean, we couldn't do it without some of our long, we have longtime supporters. We have donors who have been with the ball for years. Um, and we couldn't do it without them. And it's so important, you mentioned this, but it's so important that the money stays here in Texas because oftentimes people donate and then you want, it just goes into this big pot mm -hmm. and it's, you don't know where it's going. Oh, I agree with that. And we have sort of an exclusive agreement with ACS that that happened. This ball, there are, I forget how many, there's something over 30 cattle barons balls in the country. Um, but this is the largest event. It's the largest single night fundraiser for American Cancer Society. <clears throat> so it's really um, special. And I know tickets are going fast. Are there any left? There are some left. You know, there's always a few left, but the truth is it is selling it out. <laughs> the ball is seated at this point. Um, it's amazing. So we really want people to, you know, if, if they want to come, they need to let us know because we're, we're in the home stretch. I couldn't believe it. The other day I looked at the calendar. We are less than a month away. Wow. Which is so exciting. <laughs> home stretch. Yeah, it's amazing. Why do you enjoy this event so much? I mean, I can just tell when you're talking, you know, that you're passionate about it. I'm very, I'm very passionate about it. I um, was actually joined it in large part because it is a lot of work to be part of the committee, in large part because I have a friend who has been battling brain cancer since 2006. And um, it, you get involved and you realize that what we're doing is is incredibly important to the overall cause. American Cancer Society really relies on us and what we do as part of their funding. And so it's a great motivator. And at this point, one in four people will develop some form of cancer. Mm -hmm. I mean, that that's a crazy thing. That is crazy. Yeah. 
we we know that it, this is becoming something it of course has been for a long time but it's becoming extremely urgent that we really focus on this and we make a difference and so we're all very honored to be a part of the group and to, to be able to do this well it sounds like you're making a big difference um, I think so yeah are there any other surprises you can share about the event well, I mean, I don't know so much that there are surprises as much as one of the things that happens every year with the ball is we change our theme. And that's fun because then when people come to the ball, it's different each year. And so you kind of you walk in the door and you're looking around and you get to see and experience something that, believe, or, believe it or not, is actually a little bit different than the year before. This year, our theme, which was entirely thought of by my co-chair, who is not here, <laughs> is give gifts with a boot. So we really wanted Cute. to bring it back to, well, you know, she's a, I wish she was here so I could give her a hard time. <laughs> she's a, um, a real UT fan. And so she really wanted to, you know, you know, grab the bull by the oh, horns yeah. kind of deal. Uh -huh. and, and I was like, oh, well, we can't do the horns. There's somebody else who's been, you know, doing that. But <laughs> so she said, well, let's do give cancer the boot. And it's wonderful because it's really reminded people that Cattle Barons is raising money for cancer. It's such a big event. A lot of people just want to go because they've it's heard about party. Cattle Barons, yeah. right? Like, how do you go to mm -hmm. Cattle Barons? But it's, a, it's really um, all about cancer. So that theme has been great. And then the look and feel of the ball is going to be what we've called throughout the year rustic elegance. But think of a Colorado ranch. Think of mm -hmm. um, just really beautiful. And so it's going to be a special, I think, experience for everybody when they're there. Yeah, I remember growing up, um, my mom went every year, and I looked forward to it, going shopping with her every year to pick out her outfit, because it is, it's, it's Western, but it's mm -hmm. chic, so. Well, and that's so one fun. of the things that we were laughing about it, with pictures in Grand Lux, because we're in a couple of these uh, pictures, we're in evening gowns, and I told everybody, look, we've got to make sure people know, don't come to the ball in an right, evening Right, right. <laughs> But we do have a couple people every year show up dressed in a tux and an evening gown. So for everybody who's watching, do not dress in anything but Western. Yeah, right. Get your boots. Get your boots. You can wear a nice dress. But wear your most, turquoise. Most and women have on right the, uh, the boots, definitely. And it's good for anyone. If you've never been or you've been before, it'll just be a fun night. It's, it's really a fun night. And the food is phenomenal. One of our longtime supporters, Eddie Dean, does all of our food. And um, I say all of our food. We also, at our VIP party, we'll have True Lux is going to do some of our VIP food. But um, he is such a wonderful man, and he is such an incredible supporter of Cattle Barons. And the food's going to be great. So we're, we're excited about it. Sounds it's good. Be well, a lot of fun. Thank you so much yes, for coming on and talking to us and sharing about this event. It sounds like it'll be a great Well, I really event. appreciate it, and I hope you all are there. <laughs> all right. Again, the Cattle Barons Ball takes place on Saturday, September 29th at South Fork Ranch. And you can go to cattlebaronsball.com for ticket information. But hurry, as you heard, tickets are limited. And remember to pick up a copy of the September issue of Grand Lux Magazine to read more about Sky, Kristen, and the Cattle Barons Ball. We'll take a short break and be back after this.